extend your hands towards her. Father, we thank you for the cycle of life and the experiences that you weave together by your anointing. And we say, Father, that whatever she has to say from you, we ask that it be unadulterated, unabridged. Let it be free course, let it have a free flow, let it minister to every area of our life. We, we promise as a house, we won't hear it with reservations. But Father, we want everything that streams from your throne. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. 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 Praise God.
back hard and deal with those places that have come in and 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 and, 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 and closed off, you know, and and, and and build an environment around you. Because God comes to bring peace. Even in his day, even with the fire of what he wants to do with his Holy Spirit and his Holy Word, he, he comes and he brings peace alongside it. Yes. See, he's such a comforting, caring God that he doesn't leave you out there on the edge, you know, being terrified and you feel like you're in a rough, dry place. But he brings peace. He brings peace along with his goodness. Amen. There's always peace. Truly, truly goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives. That's for sure, he said. He said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord. Come on, you better know that you're dwelling in the presence of the living God. You're dwelling in the presence of the Lord. Amen. The Lord of hosts is his name. Ha ha. The Lord of hosts, the commander in chief. Chief commander. Amen. In charge. Come on, amen. And his name is Jesus. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let me just go from there and, and start the message. Amen. Amen. But I believe it's a relevant message. What today and what God is doing. Amen. In the hearts of his people everywhere, not just in this local assembly, oh, yeah. but he's moving in the hearts of his people, and he's doing a good thing. As the word, the, the song says, he's doing a good thing. It's yours, huh? For the asking, just believe and receive. He's doing a good thing. It's yours. For the asking, just believe and receive. He's doing a good thing. <laughs> No more. Praise God. But I dance for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing about the beginning of the new year, we've all rehearsed in our minds, and we, we you know, we we all um, had that that same ability, that same slate, white crane, you clean. You know, you feel like you got a new slate, right? Yeah. That is, 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 is empty, and you say, okay. I get to plan this one. I get to, to do it better than what I did in times past. I get to make some changes. You get to look back and see where you would like to change. Mm -hmm. And then begin step by step making those adjustments. Mm -hmm. You get to put things in proper perspective. Sometimes things get out of perspective with the shuffle and the hustle of life. Yeah. You know, you, you get busy and things get, you know, uh, get, get kind of like uh, all, all confused and what have you. But you get to get more clarity. In the beginning, it starts out that way. Don't we all know it starts out that way in the beginning? We say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to forgive my enemies. I'm going to love them. I'm going to speak to this one. I'm going to, you know, you just have a whole slate of things lined up you want, you want that you want to do better. So as Christians, we want to see change in our lives. We want to cry out and pray for the harvest, right? This is kind of switching it over a little bit. I didn't realize it until I just realized it. Uh, this, um, so we want to pray for the harvest, healings and manifestations. We all want that. We want to see it of God's glory. We want 100-fold returns. Come on. We all want 100-fold returns. Well, we really are being challenged to look at the soil of our hearts because that's where the return will spring from. The return doesn't just spring up Moses. Yeah. You know, and God can do miracles now. He's in the miracle working business. He's a miraculous God. He yeah. can do it whichever way he wants. He can move and he can change. Mm -hmm. But it has to be according still to the conditioning of our hearts yeah. and the soil, the, uh, the soil of our hearts that that return will spring from. Yeah. We want to yield or produce full mature crop on a soil where the seed Jesus has been planted and left to dry and wither. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. The down payment that was given at our transitioning into the new birth. Yeah. It was given. Yeah. Yeah. But then somewhere along the way, we allow weeds to get in. We yeah. allow that thing to dry up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we want to yield, we want to yield full, full uh, produce, produce full mature crop on that. Yeah. How many of you know you can't? I'm not a gardener per se, but you cannot. I've got head flowers. 
from pots and things, and I try to take care of them the baby as best I can. <laughs> but you cannot produce a full crop, a blooming flower, on a, a soil that is hard and, and unkept and un, untilled. You know, it has to be tilled. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we want we want soil where the seed of Jesus has been planted and left to dry up and wither. God wants to prune. Remove or cut that which is superfluous mm -hmm. to remove what is unnecessary. Is right? All those unnecessary things yep. that are in our life that we've allowed along the way. All that religion and tradition and whatever else that come along with religion and tradition. Mm -hmm. Underneath the umbrella yeah. of religion mm -hmm. and tradition. Mm -hmm. A host of things you can't even name. Mm -hmm. So we want the fullness of God's healing power mm -hmm. manifestations of his glory. And that's okay to want that. We do want that. Amen. Amen. And God's going to give it. Well, we can't be like those religious scribes over in Matthew 23. And it says, um, where it says, I think starting at 25, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you cleanse the outside of your cup and dish, mm -hmm. but inside they are full of extortion and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisees, first cleanse the inside of the cup and dish, mm -hmm. that the outside of them may be clean also. I just love how Jesus spoke to them in that day, you know. You know, and he just told them, look, you come and you think somebody want to partake of that dish that looks clean on the outside. Mm -hmm. And you go and you give them that cup and on the inside it's got dirt and bacteria and germs and corruption and religion all on the inside of that cup. They're 